Hey guys, how are you doing? Fine? Yeah? Welcome to my episode here, the Viper Bane Secrets Laboratory, where we do explain of how does Minecraft work. Today we're going to have a very in-depth look at the crafted blocks you can make from sand. There are three different blocks you can get from sand, and all of them are sandstone. So you can get sandstone, chisel sandstone, and smooth sandstone. So I'm going to make an observation here in the beginning and I'm gonna see if you can figure out what it is. There's a very spe special and a distinct feature with one of these blocks. There is something that you would recognize from something else in Minecraft itself. Can you figure out what it is? One. Well, stay tuned until the end of the video. I'll reveal it just before the end and you'll see if you can figure it out. So, sandstones. Well, the sandstone is a solid block so it doesn't obey gravity the way the normal sand block do. So you can build these in the stack and you can build them out and they can hang completely in the air without falling down. Uh, you have the chisel sandstone in the middle and then you have the smooth sandstone. And all of these are decorative uh, blocks just breaking up the monotony of the um, sands that are usually found on beaches and on, in the desert biomes. You have probably come across them when you go down into the uh, desert temples. So, these exist naturally in the world and is usually on the lower levels of sands, of the sand biome. Just as dirt and then you go down a little bit and then become sandstone and more often than not you get the crafted ones, the chiseled and the smooth sandstone when you have structures. This is more commonly found when it's just normal sand and you've seen the sand mountains in the desert biomes. You need a pickaxe to pick up any of these and if you try to break them with your hand you will not have that much of luck. So let's see how they stack up on the fire test. So there you have the different stones and how they work. There isn't much you can do with this, but you can craft these various stones from stone, well, from sand itself. So you compact sandstone and you make these different stones from it. I'm going to show that to you now, but as you saw, they burn normal time, they do not spread the fire. So sandstones can be a good, good shield for fire. And unfortunately, I think the combination, well, I would say fortunately because sand doesn't let fire spread that far and sand and the lighter wood gives good texture when you build really big buildings. Well, anyway, let's have a check in here. So we have chiseled sandstone, we have smooth sandstone and we have the normal sandstone and we have a lot of sand here. And as I pointed out to you, if you have normal sand and just place it like that, it will not obey. It will not stay up here, it will just keep going it will just keep falling down. But if you place any of the crafted stones, crafted sandstones, they will function as rock, dirt, stone. So how do you do this then? Well, to create sandstone, you place it like that. So you put a two by two of sand to make sure that you get the sandstone. There it is. <laughs> just had to make sure I found it. Now, if you want to make smooth sandstone, you need to make it from sandstone itself. So we must create two more. There we go, one and two. And then you place them just like that in a square on its own. And you get smooth sandstone. So from sandstone, you go to smooth sandstone. Now, if you want chiseled sandstone, it's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be four of these placed like that because it will just continue creating itself. So you get, a, it gets an infinite cycle. It just becomes smooth sandstone all the time. So what you do is you place sandstone like that. So you create stone slabs. Then you place them like so. So one on top of the other, and there you go. There's a chiseled sandstone. As I promised, there's going to be a secret revealed toward the end. And that is the chisel sandstone. It has a very recognizable feature to it. Can you see it? Huh? 
there's a creeper face on the side of it and most texture packs stay true to the original so the default texture pack also remains true and keep on the side the face of a creeper so you see it now bet you didn't know that or hadn't paid attention that much this is what makes a game like this so fantastic that they take time to put these details in and I really really like it for it so if that was news to you, that you hadn't paid attention to the um, creeper face before, please hit like, subscribe, share this with all your friends, comment, give me feedback. This has been a video tutorial, how does Minecraft work, and we've been talking about sandstones today. My name is Viperbane, until next time, peace out.